Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of January 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to receive a medical degree in the United States of America. Blackwell was born near the English city of Bristol, but emigrated with her family to America in 1832 when she was 11 years old. The family eventually settled in Cincinnati, Ohio, by which time her parents had already made the unusual decision for the time of employing both a governess and private tutors to develop their children's education, including the girls. After working as a teacher for a number of years, Blackwell moved to Philadelphia in 1847. She later claimed in her autobiography that she did so in order to pursue opportunities to study medicine, after a dying friend suggested that she would have experienced better treatment from a female physician. As a woman, Blackwell was turned down from numerous medical schools before she was eventually accepted by Geneva Medical College in New York State. Reports of her experience at college vary, stating that she was broadly accepted by her fellow students, despite at one point being barred from demonstrations. Nevertheless, on the 23rd of January 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell graduated first in her class and became the first woman to achieve a medical degree in the United States. Blackwell subsequently moved to Europe, where she hoped to continue her studies. Despite facing yet more opposition due to being a woman, she eventually secured positions in both London and Paris before returning to New York City in 1851. Here she established the New York Infirmary for Women and Children with two other female physicians and she continues to be celebrated as a pioneering woman in the field of medicine.